Hey everybody, I thought I would just share a little bit about the process that I go through making these videos. Um, right now what you see here is the timeline of all the clips that I have. I am about two-thirds of the way through the movie. My general process is I, uh, I watch the movie and, as, and I take notes as I go. Right? This is the stuff I haven't really scripted out yet. See, that's just kind of notes. Um, then I go back and watch the movie again and I take out the clips that I want and put them on the timeline as I go. I tidy up, you know, what I'm going to say and how I'm going to say it and exactly what order I want things to happen in. Um, usually what I also do is these green texts here. Excuse me, that's the stuff that I'm uh, making to insert in the clips. It's not me filming myself talking. It's not the movie. It's, you know, gates and jokes. So this is all the clips and additional material that I have so far that I have used. A couple that I haven't used yet, but I'm gonna. Um, this is not including the footage of me yet. This is just strictly movie and additional media. Um, so this is what the timeline looks like now. This is what these clips all look like. So now I'm going to do, um, what am I gonna do? I guess I'll go to my next thing and do that. So where am I? This time I'm like, bolding and underlining roughly where I've worked. I'll probably make this even bigger when I record my stuff, just to make sure I don't miss something. I don't do that all the time. But Okay, so Saul is about to go to the exchange, I think is where I'm at next. Let me make sure I'm not skipping anything important here. Keep the scanners on. Oh! Just <laughs> bodyguard. Okay, that I want to put in. All right, so mark the end of my clip. I'm gonna zoom in a bit here so I can see what I'm doing. Go to the end of it, but drop it in. That's way too much. I don't want all that. Try to talk and think at the same time, you know. <laughs> that delete it. I might tighten this up a bit. Movie pacing is one thing. You're sitting watching a YouTube video. It's a different pacing. Did I miss some? Yeah, I kind of did. If y'all, any y'all happen to know DaVinci Resolve and I'm doing stuff in a a lame way. I mean, tell me if you want, but I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really looking for it. I know my technique is not great. So this is the first video I've edited with DaVinci Resolve. I'm liking it a lot so far over um, HitDom, which I liked a lot over VideoPad, but it's still, I'm still learning the best ways of doing stuff. A lot of these things, there are three or four different ways of doing stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, like in that, I'll give her as much space at the end as I can, because I can edit it out when I go do my final edit. But putting it back in is is a pain in the neck. All right, so I'm gonna start this clip from the movie at this ending point. Okay, I do want him saying okay, so. Ah.
Okay, I think he's looks down twice. But... All right, that's probably enough there. All right, so I'll go back and script that in. Let's see. Yeah, I put in note, directing notes for myself. Sometimes I go back through and I don't remember exactly what I meant and how you read stuff changes the meaning. So, I'll take a couple quick notes here of what this clip is about. Usually I try and label these for the number of clips that I've got. I'm not going to bother right now. It's not always super important. I do that every other time. All right. So back to the movie. That's our new starting point. Okay, that's our new starting point. So you saw the exchange. You lost the all right, I'm going to do something with that. I can make this. I like to try to have a decent mix, intermix of live and clips and voiceover so it doesn't get too, um, too monotonous, but also if I'm just talking and talking and talking and talking, that's hard to record. I mess up and I make mistakes, so I've got to leave in breaks so that I can actually get through my own script. All right, so this I can be live. I don't want too much voiceover either because I don't want to rely on, you know, the movie either. Like, I don't want it to be a crutch, you know? Looks like him meet. That's going to be that clip. It's horrible. It's horrible. You must it. All right, so there may be a little bit more in this scene. Start over at the end of that clip up there. There may be more of this scene that I want, but that was... That was how many minutes of work for not like 10, 20 seconds of footage. And I've got 11 minutes now. So that's how long it's taken me to do this. And this part didn't even include any, oh my gosh, how do I make a word balloon? Oh man, I need to, uh, I need a picture of Humphrey Bogart to comment on this, right? So that time isn't even a lot of, that takes up a lot of the time in making these videos. So that gives you a little clue about why these things take so long for me to put out and some of the thought processes that I go through. Um, this is going to be the rest of my day. So you guys take care. Go outside and have some fun on my behalf. And uh, I'll see you in the back row real soon. Hey, if you liked this video, make sure you click subscribe or ring the bell or stroke the magic unicorn, whatever it is, wherever you're watching, wants you to do in order to be notified of new videos. <laughs>